ghostly figures of headless coachmen. A nun believed to have been bricked up within the walls that appears and vanishes mysteriously. A screaming girl at the window of the blue room, dragging footsteps in empty halls. The scene of the ghostly visitations is the rectory at Morley, a few miles from Long Melford, Suffolk. It is a building erected on part of the site of a great monastery which in the Middle Ages was the scene of a gruesome tragedy. How do you do? Last year we raised enough money to start making Borley Rectory, the first motion picture to tell the true story of the most haunted house in England. Now we're looking to raise the remaining budget, and we need you. My name's Ashley Thorpe. I'm a freelance animator who juggles his time between making animated horror shorts inspired by what I believe to be the neglected aspects of British folklore and myth and running children's animation workshops wherein I encourage little people to make their own little terrors. I'm also a regular contributor to Fangoria magazine, both as writer and cover artist. Bawley Rectory is to be an animated documentary about a very famous British haunting. It was a story that I discovered back when I was a little boy, about eight or so, in the Usborne Book of Ghosts. The initial shoots in May were a phenomenal success, but now while I continue the animation, we really need your help to raise more money for the additional shoots. And we have some fantastic rewards lined up to encourage you to help us. Hello, I'm Rhys Shearsmith. I'm Jonathan Rigby. And we're here today to urge you to be part of one of the most fearful and mysterious hauntings that Britain has ever known. The world, in fact. Yes. Holy Rectory. Help us get a film made about this most haunted of haunted houses. We've began filming it, but we need your help to uh, continue and get to the end so you can watch it. Carrying films, um, you know, of well positioned to make a beautiful looking film about it. Yeah. So uh, if you can give anything, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. You were the only one who ever said a kind word about it.